Honorable Senators, for 65 years, His Highness Prince Karimaga Khan has served as the spiritual leader to over 15 million Ismaili Muslims around the world. For his entire adult life, he has worked tirelessly to improve the lives of not only Ismaili Muslims, but for people, all people, particularly those who live in the most impoverished and often forgotten corners of our world. Operating in over 30 countries in the world and employing almost 100,000 people, the Aga Khan Development Network has established two universities, built over 700 medical centers, launched over 200 schools, supported over 600,000 farm, farmers, and provided financial services to over 50 million people. Last week, members of His Highness Prince Karim Aga Khan's family, including his brother, Prince Amin, and his children, Princess Zara and Prince Rahim, were in Canada for ceremonies to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Ismaili community's substantial presence in Canada and to launch initiatives for the next 50 years. In Toronto, His Highness the Aga Khan was conferred the key to the city for his generous, con generous contributions to Toronto and his global humanitarian work. In Edmonton, the Divan Pavilion at the Aga Khan Garden was inaugurated supporting the garden's mandate for providing a venue for dialogue and engagement. In Vancouver, an agreement of cooperation between the government of British Columbia and the Ismaili Imamate solidifies a partnership with a focus on addressing issues of climate change in BC and around the world. The significance of these events goes beyond just the buildings, the agreements, or the accolades that will emerge from them. What is truly to be celebrated is that in a world faced with increasing divisiveness and adversity, there are reassuring forces propelling us to kinder, gentler, and inclusive directions. Honorable Senators, I am so lucky to be in a position where my two greatest blessings, being Canadian and Ismaili Muslim, are not only able to peacefully coexist, but can actively interact and build upon one another. Indeed, the values of generosity, compassion, and for those less fortunate, and service have been instilled in me and in the community, the leadership of His Highness the Aga Khan. Today and every day, I am grateful for these multiple identities and also for the acceptance and deep commitment to equal opportunity that this country continues to champion on the global stage. I am very aware, because of His Highness the Aga Khan and Canadians, I am a senator. Thank you.